So the Metro Beach Boat Show had a contest to go fishing with me and Captain Joel, and we got our winners here. They're gonna catch some muskies today, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Guys, we're going after muskies here on Lake St. Clair, world-class fishery for muskies, smallmouth bass, and walleyes. But today what we're doing is we're going to be trolling for them. We're going to be using 10-inch to down to 6-inch wooden baits, and we're going to be concentrating on some of the dirtiest water that I can find here on the lake right now. So Andy, how often do you go fishing on Lake St. Clair? I've never been. This is my first time. Your first time fishing on Lake St. Clair? Yep. Have you ever caught a muskie before? No. You ready to catch your first muskie? Yeah. All right, James, so I hear you're a shark fisherman. For sure. You got me started on it. Really? So what's the biggest shark you caught from the beach? Uh, eight foot. Eight caught foot? an eight foot hammerhead last year in Sanibel. That's awesome, man. So have you fished Lake Sinclair before? Never fished Lake Sinclair. You ever caught a muskie before? Never caught a muskie before. All right, man. Well, you caught the sharks. Now it's time to fish the ultimate predator in freshwater. Super excited. So this is my planter board right here that I built and designed it. What we do is we run it, this is kind of a simple program that we've adapted for musky fishing from walleye techniques. It just gives you a better coverage. Sometimes on different conditions, planer board rods, the rods that we have on the planer board lines go a lot better than our boat rods. Musky on, musky on, we got a musky on, take a line, take a line. Woo! Good fish, good fish. We got the line out, look at that. Still going, still going. Yeah, it's, oh, it's probably hooked up wrong. Here, it's all hooked. So right now, Jimmy's got this fish on. It's a, uh, it's a good sized fish, but what happened is, is it was very, very aerobatic. And I don't know if we caught it on the camera, but the guys were fired up on that. I mean, this fish jumped about three or four times and it looks like it might have lassoed it itself with the line. So that's why Jimmy's having a little bit of a trouble with it right now. And then start cranking that reel because the gain on it is as much as you can. You don't want to lower your rod any more than say about 930. Up and down, man, up and down. Yeah. Oh. He's, He's off. off, isn't he, Jimmy? Yeah. He's off. Man. Yeah, that was a tough hookup. I mean, basically what happened there, Jimmy, you didn't do anything wrong. You're doing it good, right? Problem was is that fish jumped so many times that it rehooked itself or it got lassoed around with the line. So, you know, that's a very, very tough fish to be bringing in right there. But you did good, man. You did good. The old Mills master. It's only going to be 10 feet down. This one's going to be fishing pretty clean because it's the rod tips in the water. So if you feel that go off, you're good. Muskies are definitely not afraid of of the boat. I mean, I've had them grab a rod, and like I had said just earlier, I'll be letting line out. It's only 10 feet off the back of the boat. Have one come up and smoke it. They're pretty aggressive. This is going to be the closest that you're going to get to saltwater fishing in the fresh water right here. Barracudas and sharks. All right, we got a muskie on, guys. Woo! Jimmy's got one on. He's on top of the water. Yeah, it's getting close. Get me a bit. There he is. There he is. He's right there, guys. Okay, Jimmy, you're gonna come back here, buddy. You're gonna come back here. We don't want to pull the hook on this fish. Right over top of my head. Remember, we got that sinker. There's the sinker, guys. There right he over is, here, guys. Jimmy. Right over here, buddy. Come walk Woo. it back. It's an easy. All right, we got a muskie in the boat. Woohoo! Woo nice job, buddy. Nice job. We're putting the fish in the live well right now so we can revive this fish. Not that he needs any reviving. It's pretty hard. It's pretty energetic right now. So we're going to put it in this live well, let it rest up. And this is pretty much the single most reason why we have such a good fishery here on Lake St. Clair. That fish is able to rest in here after fighting. And uh, we keep it sitting upright the whole time. Nice, healthy fish. Nice spotted muskie. Yep. It's a female, too. How can you tell? That hourglass shape right there. Yep. All right. Your first monkey, man. Congrats. Thanks. Oh, you don't sound very excited. 
Come on, I want to see some jumping jacks or something. Come on, what is this? Okay, so. High fives at least, all around. Yeah. Nice job, boys. Okay, so Jimmy, what we're going to do is we're going to use this boga grip, right, to hold this fish because it's nice and safe to have a good grip on that fish. So therefore, it doesn't start thrashing around and maybe thrash out of your hands and bonk itself out and kill itself once it knocks itself out on the bottom of the boat. There we go. Look at that beautiful fish. Nice job, buddy. Beautiful right. color. There you go. Pull that, open it up. There you go. We'll take this fish. What I do is I jet him in. Gone. Beautiful. Gone. Successful yeah. release. Give uh, me some musk. Hey, like himself. this. This is what I do. Fist bump with a fishtail. <laughs> Good mark right there. We got another muskie on right now. James is hooked up. He's jumping. He's jumping. There he is, guys. Nice fish. Nice fish. There you go. Mark a lot of fish right here. You got to reel down on him. Lift up. Ooh, careful. He might the hook. He's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Come on. Come on. There we go. Shield, shield, shield. Big that lure was. That fish didn't care. No, that either. lure is huge, and he's, he's hungry. We're gonna revive this fish in the box right here, guys. Goes. First muskie. First muskie. That's awesome. Beautiful color. It's awesome. Yeah, spotted muskie. So we got two muskies in the boat. We need one more to, for Annie to get it. He's never caught one. Two would be really nice because that means I could catch one as well. But we gotta make sure Annie's taken care of, guys, because he's never caught a muskie before. Better let him go. Guys, big fish. Big fish, guys. Big fish. All right, Andy. Third fish of the day. You got him, man. Big fish. We definitely found the fish. It took us a few hours, but we're on them now. We got two fish hooked up in the last 10 minutes. Yeah, that would be sorry about that, bro. I see a good fish. Crazy. There he is. There he is. Third nice fish today. Oh, he fought hard for a size, man. That's yeah, a fighter. he did. That's yeah. a fighter right there, dude. I'm going to tell you what, that fish screamed out line like it was a 40 pounder. Yeah. Here we go. Right First muskie ever right there. there you go. Beautiful. There he is. Thanks. Andy, man. Nice job, brother. You got your first muskie, dude. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Fish, 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 fish on, fish on. All right, we got a fish on, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Last fish of the day. We got a muskie on, guys. Fourth fish of the day. This might be our last fish. There's never a fish there. The second you put that line in, it went slack. All right, so Andy, James, and James have caught musky. It's my turn now. I just lost one. I don't know what happened. That was really weird. I have to get back to the boat show in the next like 20 minutes, so time is short. Hopefully I can get one. We gotta head in now. I gotta go back to the boat show. We caught three musky. We lost three others. It was a pretty good day. Everyone caught a musky on this boat that has not caught a musky before. I'm gonna go back to the show now, sign some autographs, hang out with some fans. Then tomorrow I head back to Florida to hit the mullet run. Boat show's over, it's my last day here. I'm headed back to Florida now to fish the mullet run. We had a great time up here, we met a lot of fans, we went fishing, we caught muskies, swam out bass. It's a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoy watching, and we'll see you next time. Black Tip H Fishing is brought to you by Sudacor Nutrition and Southern Fin Apparel. Let's see, this is a big one right here. Oh my god! Oh, Dude!